One thing you see plastered on social media and other fitness outlets are stories of people's tremendous success and amazing transformation. People who have the quintessential side-by-side -side photo where they went from a size 22 to a size four. The newfound bodybuilders who went from flab to six pack abs. Or maybe they've gained some weight and went from being scrawny to being jacked. In any event, they all have one thing in common. They all track their progress. And if you're serious about losing weight and gaining muscle, you need to start tracking your progress as well. How can you know if you've improved if you don't know where you began? Tracking your progress is far more than just knowing your starting weight and your goal weight. For example, you might see an increase of half a pound on the scale tomorrow morning, but that could be muscle gain. So you may be asking, why track your progress? The answer to this question is simple. What gets measured gets managed. Not only will you be able to see how far you've come, but you'll also be able to see the roadblocks that could be detrimental to reaching your fitness goals. Do you ever find yourself doing great all week? You've been working out and losing your weight. Then you have one cheat meal on Sunday and somehow you've gained it all back. How can you work out all week and then eat bad one day and it all goes down the drain? Well, did you eat more than you think you did? Did you eat at the worst possible time? Are you not burning as many calories during your workout as you think? We all have one of those moments. It seems like no matter what you do, you always gain the weight back. But tracking can help with that. By tracking food and fitness goals, you can see what makes the most significant impact on your fitness journey, whether it's positive or negative. Tracking your progress is also vital in knowing if you're getting stronger. It is easy to get comfortable with your workout routine and the amount of weight you're used to repping out. You might catch yourself going through the motions instead of actually making progress in the gym. So before you go stepping on the scale each morning and making a mental note of your weight, here are six ways to measure your workout progress and track your gains. Number one, take photos of yourself regularly. The mirror in your eyes can be deceiving. You see yourself every day, even if it's just in passing, and it can be near impossible to notice physical changes in yourself. For example, it can take around two weeks to notice weight loss in yourself. Also, it is tough to see changes when you only have the memory of the old you for comparison. However, by taking photos, you can periodically make a side-by-side -side example of the old you and the new you. But don't just continuously take pictures of yourself as it can be discouraging if you expect to notice a big difference each day. Instead, try taking a photo once a month or even quarterly to notice the changes in your physical appearance. And it always helps to control the variable for each photo. For example, you don't want to take your pictures after a long night out one day and then your next set of pictures while fasting. Wake up, go to the bathroom, and take your photos fasted on Sunday. And several weeks from now, you can repeat the same process on a different Sunday to keep the variables controlled. Number two, make a workout diary. One of the easiest things and most cost-effective ways to check your progress and gains is to track your workout. By tracking your workout, you can ensure that you stay on track to meet your goals and continue challenging yourself. Start by preparing your workout routine. List out your proposed workout, reps, and equipment in your workout tracker. Keep up with this almost as an accountability partner, reminding you what you're supposed to be doing at the gym that day. Next, keep track of what you did at the gym that day. For example, make a note of the number of reps you did and what equipment you used. Not only will this hold you accountable, but it will also show you areas where you need to improve and ensure you're making progress. You can use this as a reference next time you lift. Just refer back to your workout diary to see what you hit last week for a specific exercise, and then either perform that weight again or go for a PR. Number three, check out wearable trackers. If manual tracking isn't your thing or you're just tech savvy, try investing in a wearable tracker. Items such as Fitbit or Apple Watch will track your steps, heartbeat, calories burned throughout the day, and more. This data is then sent to your phone where you can easily access it and look back at your log. Oftentimes, wearable trackers offer a feature that will allow you to track your food diary within their app. Wearable trackers are great for those who do a lot of cardio, such as running, as they will track calories burned during the exercise and track the distance you walked or ran. There's also a benefit to having a tracker that measures your sleep, which we know is a huge contributor to making progress in the gym. Number four, track your measurements. In addition to taking pictures, numbers are a great way to track your progress. The scale can be a little deceiving as it will not measure pounds of muscle gained, but measuring typically doesn't lie. Instead, you are looking to lose inches or gain them. Measuring different parts of your body is a great way to track your progress. Measure areas like your shoulders, biceps, and neck, and check weekly if you're looking to build muscle. Use these measurements to track progress, notice trends, and find ways to continue improving your exercise methods. Number five, play dress up in your closet every once in a while. 
One telltale sign of weight loss or muscle progression is the fit of your clothes. Some people choose to keep the clothes they would not or could not wear and keep trying them on until they can. Or it could simply be just putting on something you haven't worn in a while and seeing if you notice a difference in the fit. Try giving yourself an allotted amount of time to make that item of clothing fit the way you desire. Then periodically try it on to see if your workout methods are working so far. Number six, use the bathroom scale. While bathroom scales should not be used as the only source of tracking your progress, they can be a great tool when used in combination with the other tracking methods discussed in this video. Even if you aren't trying to lose weight, it's still important to track your weight to be aware of your body's specifications. Your weight can be used to determine your workout routines and eating habits, all of which factor into your workout progress and gains. So every once in a while, step on the classic bathroom scale and make a note of the number it reflects. You should also be mindful of weight fluctuations, and it's important that you don't let them get to your head. An easy way to avoid this is to take your weight every couple of days or daily, and then find the average between those numbers. This will make it easier to notice trends than be fooled by the daily fluctuations your scale weight can have due to sleep, stress, and previous foods eaten that day. Working out can be challenging enough, especially for someone looking to go from scrawny to ripped. So why make it even harder on yourself by only wondering if your efforts are paying off? By tracking your fitness progress, you will better gauge your effectiveness and sustain your motivation to continue. In addition, tracking your progress will give you insight into what works best for your body, both in diet and exercise. Seeing the progress will motivate you to continue and help you see areas to improve. It'll also help you point out patterns, such as days of workouts that you seem to slack on the most. This insight will help you find ways to beat that dreaded guilt of missing your gym day. Tracking is essential in both weight loss and muscle gain. In addition, it is crucial to track your food and workout progress to ensure you're maintaining healthy habits all around. The fittest health enthusiasts did not get to where they are today by just hoping that what they were doing worked. They did not simply cross their fingers that they were doing the right amount of reps for that day. They did not spend years just hoping they were building muscle and waiting to see the results. They tracked their progress and their gains to continue making changes to make themselves better. Did you find this video helpful? If so, click the like button below as it'll genuinely help out the channel. Also, if your training and nutrition are in order and you're looking for a bit of an edge, be sure to check out my science-based supplement line. Each product was created using scientifically proven ingredients, all clinically dosed and guaranteed to produce results. And right now you can get 25% off your entire order, plus free shipping using the coupon code MONSTER at checkout. So head over to musclemonsters.com slash supplements or click the link in the description. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe for more videos. And don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next one. Peace.